All right, y'all, back with another sports talk here. I'm Xander. I'm Corbin. And today, we're going to be talking all things sports. First off, we got high school sports. We got volleyball. <laughs> they did some good things. They beat, they beat. Was it Ada? Tell us a little bit about that game. Were you at that game? No, I was not personally, but I heard great things about it. Came yeah, out was, win. So volleyball, they played Ada at New Knoxville. Went into five sets. It was a pretty rough game. Both teams struggled a little bit, and it was very close and it was quite the nail biter. But we got it done in the end. After that game, where'd we go? Where'd we go play? Were you there? No. We played at Shawnee and we played New Knoxville in the dist district semifinal game. And <coughs> part of May. And for some parts, it was a good game. But New Knoxville was a pretty good team in the end. And it would have been a tough one to win, but the girls fought hard. And, you know, some teams just got the advantage on you, and that's all you can do. But they played their – they tried their hardest, and they played a good game. So, yeah, get them next season, guys. All right. Hey, Xander, the Elgin game was last Friday. How do you feel that went? Not great. Definitely did not perform to our capabilities. A little bit disappointed, but – you know, it really worked out. I mean, you never want to lose a game, but it came down to our benefit because we got an opponent in the playoffs that we're better suited to be. And if we would have won that, we would have been playing a much, much better team. So I think we seriously got a shot in the playoffs. Who would play Colby? Uh, Tell us about these Tiffin playoffs. Tiffin Calvin. Where at? At Tiffin. At Tiffin. And we play at the field at Heidelberg and Tiffin. Play at so it'll be a pretty nice field, pretty good game, pretty good atmosphere. We got a nice turf field. We haven't played on turf before, but I think the Bears will be all right. I think we've got a serious chance. And we've so what do you think about this game? What are your? Um, I feel like we really have to bring our A game and play as a team and do all good in all the categories: special teams, offense, defense. For sure. If we reach up to our potential, there's a serious shot we can take this thing. So. You know anything about these games, Corbin? Uh, Browns. Browns. What about the Browns? The Browns beat the Ravens. They did beat the Ravens, and a very nail-biting win, 29-24. It's about time the Browns got a win. Had some quarterback struggles throughout the season, but they really pulled it out this last week. Beating a good team, the Ravens. They're a solid team. And what do you know about the Bengals? Uh, the Bengals lost 37 to 17 to the Eagles. Which, I mean, the Bengals, you know, they've always been struggling all season. But the Eagles are a pretty credible team. Though. It's tough to beat the Eagles anytime. But, I mean, you got to keep pushing. And, you know, all right, so Ohio State played Nebraska this week. And Nebraska, they've been struggling, but they put a good hard fight against us. They had a big loss against Indiana recently, but they really did it to Ohio State. Ohio State had more. Had the lead for most of the game. But Nebraska came in at the end. They took a big lead. But Ohio State eventually pulled it out and got the win. You know, we've had some offensive line struggles this year, but we're mainly we're gonna figure that out. We got a big who do we got next week, Colton? Penn State. Yep. Ohio State's got Penn State. Penn State this week. It's gonna be a tough one. It's always tough to play Penn State at Penn State. But we're gonna have to play our best football to get it done. Also, also, the Ohio game that was pretty big was the Bowling Green versus Toledo game. Did you watch any of that game? No, sir. So, Bowling Green pulled out the win there. What's up, David? Hey, man. Anything you want to say to the podcast or sports talk? Let's nice. roll. I like Kathy Barros. Kathy Barros. Bowling Green played, um, played Toledo this week in the Battle of 75, and it was a pretty good game. It was pretty even throughout the whole game, but Bowling Green pulled out in fourth quarter, and it was it was pretty disastrous after that. Next, we've got high school basketball, high, hard northern basketball. So, what do you know about this boys basketball? Um, practice starts Friday. Friday. Um, looking to see everyone that signed up there. You got any thoughts for this season, Barbara? Um, How do you think this season's going to go? I hope it goes pretty well. Uh, I think with the players we have, we'll come out on top. 
top of war. Uh, <laughs> champions. Okay, so my thoughts. I think we've got a pretty strong team this year. I think we've got a couple shooters on the outside. We've got some some strength to, down in the post. If we keep shooting good, keep playing strong, keep playing good defense like we always do, you know, I think we got a serious shot. It's going to be tough, but we've got a pretty we've got a pretty mature and experienced team this year. We've got a serious shot. Um, let's go to girls basketball. So girls basketball last year, had, they had a rough year last year, didn't they? Same as boys. I think so. Yeah. So so their their practices started last Saturday. Or no, it would have been yesterday, Monday. So the practice started Monday. And I know those girls are looking forward to having a good year this year. They've got a lot of a lot of upcoming freshmen that are coming in play. And they've got a good shot at doing some damage in the conference this year and potentially in the tournament. I'd say I think, think that's going to wrap it up for today. Corbin, you got any closing? Oh, um, you want to talk about? Tiffin Calvert, be there. Yep. Come out and support us. It, it should be a good game. We're going to give it a chance, and we're just going to play our best game and do what we can do. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.